imagination and fantasy. Yeah. There's so much imagination, there's so much fantasy and flair. Imagination and flair. Lack a bit of imagination and fantasy. Imagination and fantasy. Yeah. There's so much imagination, there's so much fantasy and flair. Imagination and flair. Lack a bit of imagination and fantasy. Yeah. Good evening and welcome to a soccer podcast episode where the audio is very, very crisp. I don't like this. <laughs> well, this is not us. This isn't us. We've, like, we've, we've, we've sold out. We've sold out. We have. And uh, so we've purchased some. These are very interesting microphones. We're now I, in debt now. We are the in debt. The soccer pod is in debt. So this was through our Patreon money. So this is lovely. Yep. Um, so I went into JB Hi-Fi, um, NX100 in Osmond the city. Park? Oh, NX100. NX100. Mm-hmm. And I was going to look up some microphones. I was like, I'll just, I'll just yep. walk in and see what I got. And there was one box of these microphones. Uh, very odd. There was like a little green sticker on them. I feel like they were decommissioned from some sort of theatre. I, th- I feel like they're like a rock star's microphone. Yeah. Like, this is, like, you'll see this at a pop concert, not at some shit soccer podcast. Pretty much. And like we just slag off players and coaches for no reason. <laughs> exactly. But I feel like they're from like 2010. Um, cause was, like in 2010, top quality in 2000. Oh yeah, the, top, the highest of quality. Yeah. Like in 2010, they would have cost like 500. Yeah, they would have. They would have. Um, so I feel like like the the packaging looks extremely old. They come in a briefcase. We couldn't open the briefcase. We couldn't. We thought we would bought a briefcase, and that's <laughs> and that's it. Um, so because the last several episodes, it was horrible. <laughs> it was. We murdered people's ears. We've been doing some very like weird things. So the like, content was great, but the quality was yeah, the content was dog shit. Was, but was, now, the like the quality will be awesome, but, but the, the content. content will be dog shit now. <laughs> um, so because like last episode, if you were a keen watcher, nothing was actually plugged into the computer. Yeah. <laughs> we fooled you just like just by holding microphones plugged in to nothing. <laughs> so we're recording from Joe's speaker laptop, and then yeah, yeah I think like sometimes I would talk to the sky because it was raining and you wouldn't hear me. Yeah. Um, so that's that. Thank you. Be up to the patrons. We yeah, have new uh, mics. We are in debt. Um, so if, if, if you don't want the soccer pod in debt, um, support the Patreon <laughs> at patreon.com forward slash soccer podcast. Yes, soccer podcast. And you can receive exclusive content. Yes, we've been... We, we probably got to up our exclusive we've been, content. We've been lazy on the Patreon lately, um, yeah. <laughs> but we're not, any, we're not anymore. We're not anymore. Yeah. Um, but speaking of the Patreon, again, yes. I, just, I just love like plugging the Patreon. Yeah. I, I love the Patreon. Yeah, you said um, it, there, we do have a sponsor through the Patreon. Um, a Streamgate live a streaming. Streamgate live gate, yeah. <laughs> Where they stream gates. <laughs> Streamgate live streaming Australia, Joe. is our official sponsor. Um, and we've discussed them many times on the podcast. This is, so in frame here. I love Dennis. I do love Dennis. Is yeah. Chido in frame here? Yeah, that's Chido. His name after the European Golden Boot winner <laughs> this season. Chido Immobile. Chido Immobile. So I like, I've seen a few podcasts where they just hold the little dog. Um, but he's not really a holder. He quite likes no, to bite. He's, he's a bit of a puppy, so he's still like learning to like behave. Yeah. So he, like at the moment, he's being good with his bone. With but, his bone. Um, yeah, if he misbehaves, he's going back inside. Is that an also book or bone? It could be. We just go to the butcher and be like, "Boss man, give us like a bone." Okay. And yeah, because the butcher's just like chuck him out. Chuck so, him out. Yeah. yeah. Um, how did Chido go at puppy school? Oh, he wasn't the best, but okay. I think like he graduated, but it was more like a participation trophy. You know, like, <laughs> all, all the, what, what all the kids get these days. Yeah. So like when he's like 15 years old, like he won't be like used to like losing and like he'll have a mental breakdown. Okay, that's good. But yeah, back to a uh, sponsor, Streamgate. Streamgate. If you live stream an event. Yes. Dennis Fernandez in the city. He's your in, man. In Sydney. In Sydney, in the Sydney city. Are they still open? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're still open. Sydney is still open, I believe. Yeah, there's lots of um, opportunities to live stream. There the really is. I think maybe Dennis, oh, would he find any business in Melbourne? Probably not. Maybe in Sydney. Maybe. Or like he can't even get into Sydney at the moment. Oh, we can't even get into Melbourne. Into Melbourne. Yeah. No, he can't even get into Melbourne. Our thoughts are with Melbourne as well, by our the way. Our thoughts are with all our Melbourne Stay at listeners. Home. I believe, actually something really cool happened in our Discord. Um, Andrea sent some face masks, face masks to Lee Brock some facts. Oh, I rate that. I love it. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's like very wholesome. Yeah, that is a, f- a very wholesome moment. Yep. Of our, so um, if you do join the Patreon, you might get face masks. You might. You. <laughs> you might. I believe they were, I'm not sure if she sent Melbourne Victory face masks, but... Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. That's a very wholesome thing to do. It was a really Andrew, great. Big ups. Yeah, it was a very cool moment from the Soccer Pod um, community. But Trent, do you get up so much on the weekend? Do I get? To, I actually had a very busy weekend. Uh, I saw you on Friday night. I saw you on Friday night. Plan on seeing each other? No, we didn't. We, we should record it. We should record we it. Should have. But yeah, I feel like I had one too many uh, Negronis and Americanos. <laughs> did Joe? You watch the uh, Carlton? I on did watch the Carlton. The, <laughs> <laughs> the Carlton on Friday night. How did they go? Um, first quarter. Killed it. Okay. Four, six goals. Levi Caswell killing it. Jack Martin killing it. Yep. Cripper killing it. Yep. Sam Doherty killing it. Okay. Um, quarter time. Um, they go into changing room and the coach, he must have told them guys switch off now that job's done. 
Right. Next three quarters, just just lazy. Atrocious. Atrocious, horrible. Right. It's like the Carlton of like two years ago. Right. And you lost the game by like five, four goals. Fair enough. But it was a nice experience. Okay. Um, the atmosphere wasn't really there. Okay. Like compared to like a soccer, like HBF, NIB Stadium where yeah. there's chanting, there's singing, football's just... Like a bunch just of like 50... random people yelling. Yeah, a bunch of 50-year-old people just screaming. Yeah. Like just commentating weird, their own well. game. Yeah. yeah. I was like that as well. Okay. But that's because um, I'm actually a gambling addict now as well. <laughs> Are you, Joe? How's yeah. that going for you? Up and down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how have how high have you been on and up? Or on up, I've, I've betting low. Betting low, okay. Like, I started with 50. Okay. When, when, like, went down to 10. Mm-hmm. I put in another 50, so I went up to 60. Mm-hmm. Then I went up to 150. Yeah. Then I went down to 98. Okay. Then I went close to 200. Right. Now I'm back at 100 again. It's quite a roller coaster. Yeah. Oh, I'll, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. It's quite a roller coaster. Yeah. It's um, good that I'm aware of it, though. It is good. I think the first step is um, awareness. awareness. Like, <laughs> and then, like, acceptance. Yes. So you haven't accepted I think maybe you accepted it. It's fun, though. Yeah. Like, I, um, you know what I, like, dislike? What? People that, like, don't like betting companies investing in sport with, like, ads and everything. No, nah, I rate it. Yeah, I rate it. Like, who else is going to sponsor them? Yeah. Like, who cares if Bet365 and sports bet and everyone is like, have their ads up? Like, it's up to me if I want to bet. Like, exactly. Just like, don't look at the ad. Or yeah. like, yeah, you know? I, I agree. I think, um, I think they only really like, for something like the A-League, there's no negative to having like... Take any sponsor. Like, I can like tobacco should, like you should be able to like advertise tobacco as well. That, maybe not. But it's up to the consumer. Like, you should be aware that it's bad. If they want to advertise, let them advertise. Yeah, I feel like tobacco like, is a little... need to take responsibility, Trent. I do agree with this. I feel like tobacco is a bit of a... Yeah, it's bad. But, like, like alcohol's a... bad. You can advertise that. Yeah, but alcohol's not as bad as tobacco. Oh, they're both, like, bad. Like, okay. you... <laughs> not to... Like, alcohol's, like... <laughs> they're just, like, different degrees of bad. Yeah. But so, like... during an A-League game, advertise... I say, I don't mind a bet 365 ad. Who's the old mate who uh, speaks? There's, like, the same guy every week. I don't know his name. Oh, I'm like, he's like, oh, these are the markets. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. always like crap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's like thin. Yeah. yeah he's he's tall, he he's seems very tall and thin. Quite tall and thin. Uh, quite tall and thin. So, Joe, that was Friday night. I saw you at... Yeah, and then, um, oh, so yeah, I went to the football. Went and to then football. We went to, I went to see Paradiso. Yes, see Paradiso. And I was there for a while before you were. So, by the time you rocked up, I was a little bit under the weather. Yeah, I had um, a game the next day, so I was driving. Okay. Um, uh, I went to... I had a burger before in Scarborough. Oh, okay, I had a burger before as well. Oh, really? Like, like, what was your burger firstly? My burger was, um, oh, it was a, a crumbed chicken, a little fried chicken. I had a chicken burger as well. Okay. I had a brie cheese one though. Was uh, there was a brie, there was a blue cheese chicken burger on the menu where I was at. Well, I tried blue cheese, oh, fuck, wait, no, uh, grilled. I tried like, okay. like one of the dipping sauces was like blue cheese and I was like, fuck it, it can't be that bad. Yeah. And I hate, yeah, I wasn't a fan of really? it. Really? Yeah, because I like ad- like adventure. It's quite foods. a strong flavor. Yeah, but as a dipping sauce for chips, it's, it didn't go. Yeah, well. it didn't, didn't didn't go that well. Yeah, like, um, I'd rather like just Tommy sauce straight from the fridge. Tommy sauce, yeah. Uh, yeah, my chicken bag wasn't bad. Um, so that was Friday night. Played yeah. Saturday. How was your game? Uh, my game, we lost four 0 to Wanneroo. Yeah. Wanneroo top of the table. Yeah, that's fair enough. So we can see, but to be fair, we conceded like two or three very stupid goals in the first half. I was a bit tired. Second in half. The first half you were tired. Yeah, and I got more energy in the second half. And then I got kicked. Okay, so you know how I wear my shin pads? I wear them like so. We got. Do vision. you have the big shin pads or small? Small. Shin pads? Small. Yeah. Okay. So like my jocker sock comes out to about here. I have my shin pad. So like re- essentially my shin is exposed. Yeah. And I learned this because I got kicked about four times in my right shin, and by the seventieth minute I couldn't run. But we had we've made five. We had five subs, right? So this is yeah. yeah. Oh, five subs is too many. So we made. I think we made two, like, two subs at halftime. Came off to go to the first team. Right, one was injured, and then I think we made three subs at half. Might have been made four, but, but anyway, by the time I was injured, I, I couldn't come off. I feel bad subs. for the referees trying to like keep track of five subs. It was five funny subs. because I was walking out of the ref, and it was like ref made four subs. And he's getting the book out, you know, yeah, writing everything like, down. Like so much administration, just yeah. like three subs or no subs, easy. Yeah, exactly. like, well, I talked, I had a big rant about that before. <laughs> you did, you did. Um, but I, I heard a rumor that a friend of the show who we tried to find an MPL club, he was down at your club for like one week or two. Or so. <laughs> this is actually. <laughs> So he like, was. If, he w- if you're listening to the podcast about like our first five weeks, I have a mate, um, Adam Carlino, and yeah. he just got sacked from his team. Or not sacked, he, d- he didn't get a spot in like the MPL team. Yeah. And like all throughout like growing up, he was like MPL, he was like yeah. glory youth and like killing it. Um, then like kind of fell off. Um, so we tried to find him an MPL team. Yeah, we didn't. We, we, we found didn't. him a Div 1 team. Yeah. Um, that Div 1 team has let him go. Yeah. And now, Trent, you can take the story. <laughs> Joe, this is so funny because you don't know the end of this story. 
<laughs> so anyway, on Friday night, I said, Joe, Adam, I walked into the mic away. You're just like peeking a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, Friday night, I saw Joe. And I was like, Joe, the funniest thing happened. I walked into the change room. Adam Carlino's in the change room. Um, so anyway, it gets a lot better than this. <laughs> so I was like, it was, it was great having Adam at training. Um, he scored a few. We're doing shooting. He scored a few. He's a bit rusty, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so he played on Saturday and um, he left the club. That happened. <laughs> I was very disappointed to hear this because I really did enjoy Adam's company. Yeah, like, um, you, like I feel like if there's any MPL teams listening to us, yeah. um, Adam Carlino, yeah. we can I can get you in touch with him. Yeah. Or if there's any Sunday league teams with a, a bit of cash to spare, yeah. get in touch. Now, Joe, on Saturday night, we also had an argument. No, so Friday night about um, me playing on Saturday and how I'm considered a Sunday league player. Do you have yes. anything to say about that? I, I, I still stand by that. Like, no, this, like we talked about this at, in like when we, we recorded in East Perth. Yeah, we did. We did. But yeah, it's either NPL or Sunday League. There's no in between. Okay. No, that's the way I say it. And it's funny because I think like we have a lot of listeners that play State League. <laughs> yeah. So just just abuse them. That's all right. Yeah. Like this is like why like we get like, so many like messages. Just like oh like fuck you, Joe. I'm like yeah, whatever. Do we get those messages? Oh no, we got like one guy like Jim Jones. Remember? Him? Oh, Jim Jones. Yeah, he's an avid listener. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay. Um. Fair enough. So, yeah, game, Saturday night. Um, what happened Saturday night? Um, went to an event. Uh, Which event was that? It was Unbound. Okay, interesting. Um, and they went to Henry Summer in the city. Not bad. Not bad. Have you been to Henry Summer? I have been there a few times. Okay. Um, nice cocktails. Nice cocktails. I do agree. I that do agree is with this. true. Joe, how's the audio levels going? I think it's good. Okay. Wait. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're good. I was worried for a second there. Okay, you were. Yeah, because nothing's coming out of there. My microphone on? My microphone's on. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Does yours have like one of like the, like the signal thing or just the batteries? It's just, just the batteries. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's still picking it up. Yeah, I was a little bit worried. Okay. Um, yeah, because we're not used to having mics that work. Yeah. Microphones are so hard to like understand. Yes, they are. So we, because when we originally plugged these in, we we're getting really bad audio, but then we changed software and we got good audio. There's no rules, Trent. So I think, no I think the problem was before was not the mics, but the audio, but that's how we yeah. go. What's better, like our $20 mics still work perfectly. Yeah. And we just good. wasted a lot of money. So the problem is when we have a guest, what do we do? Do we... We don't have guests anymore. We don't. We... Or like we just like say goodbye to like, me or you. Oh, right. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> just a two-person pod. <laughs> could, be, could be on. Yeah. Um, so yes, Joe. Yeah. That was, um, uh, so, so you played Sunday League on Saturday. Played Sunday League. Oh, I mean, so I went to, went to... I watched the Dockers. Right. I watched Frio. I wore my glory scarf. Yeah. Um... So this was more of a, a social outing than me actually wanting to go to the football. I, I actually s- like the football a lot. I it's sat like next guilty pleasure. Okay, it's not mine. I sat next to um, these old, so middle-aged Collingwood supporters, and they were pretty much just like commentating the game. And I don't know who they expected to listen. Like I was just listening to their terrible commentary of the game. I couldn't understand it. I don't get these people, Joe. I don't get football AFL fans people. Fans are different. Like going to the game is like a, they're t- two completely. Like different cultures and atmospheres going to a game. Yeah, completely. Yeah, hundred percent. But like, but no, like a, a, as a fan of both, I can understand where the AFL fans are coming from and where okay. like the soccer fans are coming from. I just think um, soccer. There's like a bigger like emphasis on like the active culture of it and like singing and like chanting and all yeah. that. In football, there's like your cheer squad, but they're just like cringe. They're very cringe. Um, and yeah, it's just like p- spot fires in like the stands of people just like get, getting up and yelling ball or yeah, I just, pumpy. Yeah. I just can't see. And I, I still to this day cannot understand like, what do the coaches speak about? Like, like there's no the tactics. Telephone? No, no, no. Like there's oh. to the players, there's no system. There's no tactics. There's nothing. Everyone just follows the ball. It's like under t- five soccer. I was talking to Francis the other night about like coaches in AFL. Okay. And I was thinking for a gap year, Pep Guardiola should coach an AFL team. <laughs> I just love to see that. But you know what? I think there's room for like a tiki taka style AFL, like a new AFL style. So you know when they get the ball, like it, like someone scored a goal or yeah. behind and they have the centre the centre, <laughs> centre back has the ball. Yeah. And like they play it down one way and then they just boot it to a contested footy when like they could go out, I feel like they could go out the other way and switch it. They don't do it. Yeah. Like they don't, they don't switch the point of the attack. Yeah, they need to like. I want to see some different styles of like some like coach some soccer tactics implemented yeah. in AFL. Yeah, but and then like, wasn't there some bloke who like was complaining there was too much overcrowding in footy, so they're going to introduce zones? Yeah, that's a stupid sport yeah. if you're going to introduce zones into like a hundred year old sport. No restrictions. Yeah, yeah. There's, the rule changes in AFL. Are, like, I don't get that. I think it loses. It's like they're all big about integrity. It loses integrity when you change the rules every year. Yeah. You know but, what I, mean? um, I was talking to Francis again. Okay. Francis. We, we, like me and Francis like talking about the AFL and okay. soccer. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we're talking like, it's like the full forward is like an important position in football. And yes. traditionally it's like big, burly, two meter tall men who weigh yes. like hundred kilos. Yes. That's the full forward. And they score all the goals mm-hmm. like most of the time. Yeah. Um, me and friends were talking 
instead of a full forward being like a big burly big man, mm. it, it should be like a soccer's false nine who's right. like a short fella who just presses a lot. <laughs> I would like to see that in AFL. Well, interestingly, I think Nat Fife played full forward for Frio because I asked why because he's yeah. like a midfielder. Yeah, and he was resting but playing. How the hell does that work? I don't know. Like same happens. That's with, like, a stupid he's, AFL thing. He's, <laughs> he's resting. How can you rest? He's playing. Yeah. I think a false nine would work. A false nine in AFL. I want to see a false nine. Yeah. Um, I want to see wing backs. Oh, they're kind of his wing Yeah, they are. Yeah, <laughs> they're like the, like yeah. the half backs, half I think back. they're called. Okay. I don't get AFL positions. Like, what, like what's a centre half forward? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> a centre like, half forward? What? Like, I understand the pockets. Yeah, because like, li- there's literally like little. Uh, yeah. So you're like a number 10 if you're in the pocket. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You're like Ninkovic. Ninkovic is in the yeah, pocket. Like Ninkovic would be like an inside foot. Well, yeah, I don't even know. Like the centre half forward is like be. the full back. So how can you have a full back in an oval? I don't uh, get that. It's just very bizarre. Um, it's extremely bizarre. I don't really appreciate much of it. Um, I do enjoy it. It's my okay. guilty pleasure. Okay, it's not like, fun. If you ask me, oh, Joe, did you watch more A League or AFL games on the weekend? And I told you I was watching A League, I'd be lying. Okay. I'd be uh, lying if I said I watch more AFL. No, but that is no. But the reason why I am watching a lot more AFL is that I do gamble a lot more on AFL. Okay, so that's why I watch the games. Right. Yeah. Um, I did bet on a uh, Wellington to beat Perth Glory though. And that would have been a great bet. Yeah. I saw the lineup. Was like, yeah, easy. Not because the Popoviches were starting. No, not at but all. But because Wellington named a good eleven and Glory were unchanged, so that would have been unfit. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, Joe, there was some. There's a bit of A League news, and we'll get into a few of the games. We're not going to yep. cover all of them, but we'll cover. We'll yep. cover most of them. Uh, off the um, top of my head. Oh, new, I'll go through news. Yeah. Okay. So the Mariners owner revoked the license. Well, he hasn't revoked. He wants to sell it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So, yeah. so he hasn't revoked. I think I think only the FFA can revoke it. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the owner can't revoke it. Otherwise, he I don't should... understand business. I study yeah. business. I don't understand business. Yep. So the owner, Mike Charlesworth. Yes. Oh, there you go. Um, Name has drop. said, listen, I want to like sell my majority stake in the Central Coast Mariners, and he's open to. The license moving to either like wherever who wants yeah. to buy it. So like there was some like idea that they're going to merge with the Jets. No, like no, no, no they no, both no. have so much history that why would you merge? Like that's just fifteen years. Well, <laughs> in, in terms of Australian <laughs> football yeah, the history, context of the A League, yeah. yeah, and like NSL. Oh no, we did. We do have Jets in the NSL. I don't know. No, I don't think we did. Talk, we talk A League, which yeah. I don't know NSL. Yeah. Um, uh, don't merge with the Mariners. Just get some like. Asia, get surely Asian investors. Yeah, surely there are enough, like, even wealthy Australians. Yeah. Like, how many billionaires are there in Australia? Uh, surely we can find one of them who's like, hey, listen, just like, here's 50 million, you can just waste away. Easy. Yeah, who's, who's Andrew Forrest? No, he likes rugby, though. Ah, okay. Well, Clive Palmer did own the Gold Coast yeah. uh, United, didn't he? Something. Yeah, he did, yeah. He did I don't United. know what, he's a bit of a character, though. He is and, a bit of uh, We in WA hate Clive Palmer. We do. <laughs> You bastard! You stay away from our state, Clive. If you're what he is, he, he is a, an avid watcher. Is he avid? He is comments he a... on our video. Yeah, Clive. Oh, does he? Okay. Yeah, he, he's one of the patreons. <laughs> no, he's not. But he's not. Clive, if you're watching, um, firstly, don't come to WA. Leave Secondly, us subscribe, subscribe to our Patreon. Thirdly, buy the Central Coast Mariners. Yeah, or Gold Coast again. Oh, you know I... they signed Corey Brown today. Again. Who? Gold Coast. Yeah. Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Yeah. Corey, Corey Brown, Brown, the left back from Brisbane, who just played. Or tonight. James Brown. Jay, my, Corey Brown played tonight for Brisbane. No, it was Corey. I swear. I'm, I'm, Corey played tonight for Brisbane. No, he didn't. He did. I was literally watched the game. No, no, he wasn't. Okay. Funny story about um, Miron Blyberg and Gold Coast United. When we interviewed Reese Vertilia, he didn't tell this story, but um, he should have. He told me if it, a little while ago. It was so funny. So Reese It wasn't got, Corey Brown, by the way. It was another. What Brown. was his name? He played from back in the day. How do Shane Smelt signed for Gold Coast. Yeah. Okay, so let's keep to I'll try. Yeah. Anyway, Reese went to an NPL club during. I think he came back from Italy. Went to an NPL club. Miron Blyberg was the coach. Had just got sacked, and Miron Blyberg came in, and apparently he watched one game, and they were really bad at tackling. Right. So Miron Blyberg, I think he'd already coached Gold Coast at this point. Mm. So he's A League coach, and they got Reese goes into the first training session, NPL club. I can't remember what club. Right. Top top coach, probably mm. the best coach you get in NPL club. They lined up in pairs, right, and practiced. The b- a ball in the middle of two people. When Miron said go, they practice slide tackling. Yeah, they should. Yeah, oh, right. See, Miron Blyberg brought like some like alternate coaching things that like we don't see every day. Reese was like, that's Reece, what we're missing. Reese told me he's like that was probably the worst like the stupidest training session yeah. to run for grown NPL men players. Like, anyway, we get back into the news. Okay, um, MacArthur, yes, signed a few players. They did. This is not on my news. Can bulletin. I name them? Can you name them? Matt Derbyshire, maybe. Okay, he played. Premier League okay. or like Championship. Okay. I don't know. He's an English bloke. All right. Um, they signed Jean Rowe from City. 
Oh, they did Dennis. I like Jean Rowe. He's saucy. Yeah, he is pretty cool. Um, he, remi- signed- he reminds me of Charles Leclerc, the Formula One driver. Charles Leclerc. <laughs> it's a good name drop there. Um, they did sign the goalkeeper, uh, Federici. Federici, the goalkeeper. The, goal- yes. the goalkeeper. Now, has Beerus signed for them? No, yeah. It's not no, official. I, think, no. I feel like he should stay at the Mariners. He'll get game time. He can go like, somewhere better. He just comes to Perth because surely like Reddy's like... Now, on a side note, we'll talk about Tommy All later, but how far down who has Tommy All gone? In the... I see, like, I, I, yeah, he was good like 10 years ago. Mar- I was Marin... Like, Germany soccer is yeah. now like... And, the and he scored trash. bangers for like PSV, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh, he was playing... When the Mariners played Western Sydney, which we're going to a little bit, he, we're talking in the Discord, he's so poor. He had like three shots from outside the box. Skyder. He's just lost. But you know what I don't like about what? like Socceroos mm. or like ex Socceroos? Mm. Like all the commentators say, oh, Socceroo, like James Meredith or Socceroo, <laughs> Tommy Orr. They haven't played a Socceroos game in like over five years. Yeah. So, like, I don't think, are they? I think after five, I think five years is the cutoff. Oh, I think even less than that. <laughs> if it's been like three years, you haven't yeah, called you're, you're not are a you, Socceroo. Are you a Socceroo anymore? Yeah. Are you a Socceroo? Yeah. Um, very good. So, other in other news, Simon Hill has gone to Optus Sports. Yeah, like, it was inevitable. It was inevitable. It was inevitable. Yeah, and inevitable. much like Mike Rudan. Is inevitable. Yeah, that's a, a very hard word to say. And it is a very lovely word to say. It is. I think Simon Hill is uh, inevitable in the Australian you know what's football a scene. Hard, a very hard word to say. What? I was watching a YouTube video about like the American voting system. Yes. And like here we have like, no. It's like there they have a majority. Yes. No, here we have a majority, majority. in Australia. Yeah. In America they have a plurality. Oh, a plurality. Or oh, you said it. Oh, I, I think I'm probably better at pronouncing yeah, things than you, Roger, because I can pronounce apostolos stamatolopoulos. Apostolos stamatolopoulos. That's good. See, like, I, like I'm lazy. I, like, I'll get to a post and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm getting yeah. up now. But if I put my mind to it, I can say, like, hard Greek names. Yeah, that's true. So, Simon Hill to Optus. Surely this means Optus take the A-League. Sure, you'd think so, because, like, Fox Sports, like, it's, you just can like, tell, like, there's no pre-game. Yeah. There's no the pre-game. They literally start the games in KO at 531. It was, like, 530. Yeah, no, that's poor form. Very poor. Very, very poor. Um, what else is in the news? Um, um, surely there's something else. Do you remember, oh, so, did, like, did you uh, see the commentator versus the expert gag? Where oh, I was like, that... But um, Bozza's, that's the only thing I like about Fox Sports now that Bozza gets like more airtime ever. Yeah, he commentating does. Commentating or like Matt's side. <laughs> commentating, he's quiet. He's okay. He's just a character. He like, I like how he's kind of... He doesn't um, care as well. Yeah, he takes a lot, a lot of pauses between what he says and he butts in and he's really aggressive. Seeing like the first game back, he, like he wasn't wearing gloves and it was a cold night. His like hands were just like... They were literally... Ghost white. Wh- go- it, ghost and, white. Ever since then, he's been like wearing gloves. <laughs> that's I know. He got called out. That's quite funny. Um, um, there's something else in the news. Well, like, oh, I've sure. got a thing about um, players are getting paid. Some players are getting paid 17% of wages and they want to cut them even more. Yeah, there's no yeah, money. And people like want to scrap the, or like lower the cap, just get rid of the cap. So they get rid of... Yeah, like... We're talking... So they... Um, in the Discord, Andrew was saying... So Singh got sold... Sarpreet Singh got sold for like one and a half million yeah. close to. And uh, Kachar had a baller game tonight. Mm. He, he's going for like 800,000. That's like the salary cap. <laughs> yeah. Like two players is worth the salary cap, which means it's just like yeah, a joke. Like I've been reading the Wealth of Nations, which is like the cornerstone of a Western capitalist, like what's the thing? like uh, capitalism? West- capitalism, yeah. I was like capitalization. That's not that. <laughs> yeah, uh, about the cornerstone of capitalism, and yeah, he says like restrictions, like even he's like in the economy, just get rid of like yeah. restrictions, just like mm. let it be a free market. If yeah. you survive, you survive. For sure, for sure. Um, now, Joe, have we gone twenty five minutes? We're very good. We're at 23. Okay, I think we should um, be... We'll pause it now. Okay. We'll come back in two seconds with right. uh, the games. So right. we're back now. We're back. We're going to talk about the games. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the glory. Because um, that's where our, my heart lies. We're gonna, uh, glory Adelaide. So after I ranted about the Popoviches... I missed this game because I was, I was working overtime. So oh, well, I wasn't working overtime. I was working flexi time. Flexi time. So I could leave Did early you? the next day to go to the football. Oh, the, the AFL. That's cool. Um... So, yeah, so sorry about that, Glory. No, it was really annoying. So, I pretty much, Glory games have been, I train, so the Glory games have started at 5.30. I need to be at training at like 6.30. So, you anyway, might watch the first half, then watch the second half on KO. So, I go training. But then I don't get picked. That's what happens in, that's what happens in Sunday League. Yeah. Uh, see, this is why I don't, I, <laughs> like, I, for a moment on Sunday, I was watching a Sunday League game, and like an actual Sunday League game. An actual Sunday League game. Like, and like, the players were having fun. I was like, maybe I, maybe I could make a comeback. But... <laughs> I can't be bothered training. Okay. No, no. Maybe. 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 Okay. Anyway, so I said that um, Tony Popovich, a sane man, could not surely not start Gabriel the next game. And he listened to me. Tony listened. He, he, li- he watches the pod. Tony watches the pod. Started D'Agostino. Now, Glory Adelaide, I don't think... This is with all... I think uh, Trat played a good game against Jets this year. Like a really good game. I was like, wow, Trat's actually decent. I don't think Trat will ever play an A-League game ever again. 
Oh, he how can he give like he gave away like two penalties in two games and then like the and pass back was pretty, the pass back. I think there was a third goal when um Mork just ran straight yeah. through. But him. I think like as a nice guy, any player who plays in this like hub type scenario during yeah. COVID, yeah. like it's a write off and like everyone can forget this three months of football <laughs> like it never happened. I, I think that's fair. I for his sake, I hope so, but I just can't see him getting an league gig. Um like so Trap was horrendous. If he got taken off after 20, I was expecting Popper to take him off after 20, which is like a big a big yeah. move because AH actually would have prevented some goals. So at this stage, Marcello was still in exile. Um, but like Franich came off at halftime. He was ridiculous. It was good really last bad. night. Ridiculously bad. Yeah, it was good last night. Um, Chinese came on at halftime, was terrible. D'Agostino barely touched the ball. Now, Christian Popovich this game was statistically... Statistics. Statistic, this is, I, was, okay. I study statistics. As opposed to statistically, like, like what else is there? Um... We could say like analytically. Isn't that the same as statistically? Yeah. Oh, as opposed. To, what do you mean? So like as opposed. Like statistically, he was good. Oh, like as opposed to what? Oh, as opposed to like me complaining about him <laughs> for no reason. Man. So statistically, Christian Popovich was the best player of the round. He got a ninety-three on. Yep. So this is Opta data. I looked yep. at their website. Always trust trust Opta. Yeah. Okay. I, I follow their accounts on Twitter. Oh really? Like I follow, I follow like the the Serie A one. Oh yeah. So it's like, and like each Opta is like a different name. It's like Opta Jason is the oh, Australian okay. one. Opta Dave is like another country. Mm. And um, the Italian ones they post in English first, and they post in Italian. Oh, that's so good. So that, that's how I learned my Italian. <laughs> Through uh, stats. Nice, I like it. So I went up to his website, and I wanted to, I wanted to like find this information because obviously it's not publicly available. Yeah, because do you need to pay for it or something? Yeah, yeah, it's like a more of a commercial thing. So Christian got a ninety three. Now, to be honest. In this game, so I I said Christian Kovacic at his best was average, an average player. Yeah. I'm going to, at I'm his gonna, best is nine point three. I'm changing this. If you draw like a bell curve, he's right at the end. At his best, he's in the fourth quartile. He's he's, he's in the fourth he's in the fourth interquartile range. That's anyway, what I mean. At his best, he's a good player. All right. At his best, he's a good player. Now, let me get back to this. So what am I? Th- I so I couldn't find this information. Um, I think I'm going to do a uni assignment. I want to get Optus data because I want to see Gabriel's number against. The game before uh, against Wellington, yeah. I reckon he got a bit about a thirty. That's just my personal. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an avid supporter of Christian Popovich. So Christian in this game, to be completely honest, was probably the only player they wanted to play. Everyone would just look terrible. So he's motivated. He wants to be there. He wants to prove to everybody in the league, to you, not to me, because I, I know he's good. So Christian the- is going to prove his next season. He'll be Glory's best player. Watch out. So I'm, I'm going to put that out into the universe. <laughs> And it's going to come back next year. So we were the glory were like sh- absolute shambolic against Adelaide, and I don't know even how we scored three goals. Um, but I want to. Okay, so let's. What have I got here? Oh, Malik was even really bad, and Malik's been playing pretty decent um, against Adelaide. Um, what have I got? Oh, for Adelaide's sake, Obseth, Brook, and Gomulka was really good. Gomulka, like the first gamer. Yeah. Second gamer, maybe. First or second start. Yeah. Did the new uh, Glory MPL signings no, make an appearance? They didn't play at all. Are yeah, they yeah. even in the hub? <laughs> they even in the hub. Well, Joe, a big question was after this game. I thought they lost the dressing room again. <laughs> you think Tony Popovich loses the dressing room every second week? I thought there's no way. I thought we were not winning another game, and we're nowhere coming back from this. But Tony listens to the pod clearly, and they did come back. So let's talk about um, we were versus Western Sydney last night. Yeah, Glory bossed up. Michella came back. We didn't know where he went. He was busy playing ping pong in the hub. Like, it's his, it's his thing. Like him and Joel are on the same team. Now. Glory were first half was you know it was okay. Christian came off for Brimmer and the game exploded. Popper was was playing a good game, but I think we need a more dynamic like attacking player. So my problem is that Brimmer came on and proved to us he's probably the second best player on our Brimmy team. Brimmy Yester, he's so good. Brimmy Yester, so Get it's his a, name right. Okay, Brimmy Yester. It's I said it was a crime that one day's playing centre back and K pop playing midfield. It's a crime now. Brimmer's on the bench for K pop. Uh, the midfield but, dynamics. You could say. We were saving Brimmer for when Western Sydney were a little bit tired, a little bit sloppy in the second leg, or in the second half, sorry. Mm. And maybe we could get like more expl- explosive play, exactly like how he played. Maybe there's an argument there, maybe. There is an argument there because he did play. He probably would have played not as good if like, he started. Because like for Meredith's goal, yeah. in the first half, he doesn't get that, that whole run along yeah, the no, right side. That can only happen in the last 10 minutes of the second half. It's a valid half, point, Joe. It's maybe. a valid point. However, I think the midfield dynamic of K-pop Kilkenny in one day is it's, not... I think it's too defensive. It's I way think. too defensive. Yeah, because like already like... Kilkenny's is already like very Kilkenny was like pressing player. as the 10 yeah, yeah. it's like nah. but no like I like the dynamic I like the dynamic with I don't like the dynamic with K-pop Brim, uh, one day and Kilkenny like especially against Adelaide like we can like just boss Adelaide with Brimmy Yasta playing if we're versing a Sydney maybe bringing the, the two like Kilkenny and Popovich mm. maybe mm. or against like a more attacking team who's mm. more dangerous but Adelaide mm. 
And then maybe that's what cost us. So D'Agostino in the uh, Adelaide game looked like uh, Sasha Baron Cole from the Dictator. Oh, was that like before? Yeah, before he before shaved okay. it. Um, he looked like Sasha Baron Cohen. And he shaved it for the Western Sydney game. He's not touching the ball. Like, in our, he just doesn't touch the ball. So, would you say Gabriel Popovich would have touched the ball a few more times or got more involved? If Gabriel... Co- the thing is, when Daggers touches at the ball, like, finally, he doesn't give it away. Mm. When Gabriel touches it, he gives it away. I want to see the numbers. Opta. 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 Optus. Give us the stats. Opta. Give us Gabriel's number against Adelaide. Yeah, please. All right. Um, what are some other games? I watched the one... The other game I watched during the week... Um, a weird one was Western Sydney Wanderers and, and Mariners. Mariners, and that was a one-one draw. That was a one-one draw. I was yeah. watching this at work at the football. Center. Mariners, they looked different. The Mariners looked it, competitive. It, it wasn't good. It was different. <laughs> it was competitive. It's um, like going into KFC and you order something. I don't know why I said KFC. Like it's like any restaurant. Yeah. You order one thing and like you're just expecting like the, like what your orders come in and you yeah. got it and it was different. It wasn't <laughs> nice. It was just different. <laughs> you just weren't expecting it. It's true. So we've seen a lot of the Mariners in this hub. I feel like all, I'm, all A-League I'm watching is the Mariners. Um, <clears throat> they played the old 4-2-2-2, which I um, unveiled that they're playing. And they actually played really good, to be fair. De Silva has disappeared. So he's pretty much been, like, pushed away um, for old mate Ruiz Diaz. Who scored two goals last night? Two, scored two Not goals. against Glory. No, against, against Victory. Against Victory. Victory, bad. Um, no, but Western Sydney. So Simon Cox scored the equaliser. Does he look very overweight to he you? He seems very tubby. Like, I this is overweight. Like, He'd like... Well, he looks like about like 5'11", 5'10". Yeah, yeah. But he looks about like 80 kilos. Yeah, that's... Which is like, I'm like 5'10". Okay. So I'm actually six foot, but like, I'm like quite slim. So you're, f- like... you're six foot? Yeah. I don't think you are. Yeah, our listeners will know I'm six foot. I'm... No, they wouldn't because they, they've seen a photo of you and me and I'm a little bit taller than you. I'm not six yeah, foot. Yeah, and you're just a tad taller. I'm 182. I'm six foot. 182 is not six foot. And that's... I'm six, I, I'm six foot. I feel like that's a crime. I never made no, the six foot. No, I'm six foot. Okay. But anyway, like my... like. If I were 5'10", which I'm yeah. not, okay. I would weigh like 65 kilos, yeah. and which is like quite slim. Yeah. But Simon Cox is 5'10", 5'10 which and weighs 80. a different height to me, and mm-hmm. he's like 80 kgs, mm-hmm. which BMI-wise, that's not too good. BMI-wise, it isn't. Joe, funny enough, I did the yo-yo test last night. Ooh. Now, why do you put yourself through like so much like physical exertion? Well, I, I, it, the club was doing I couldn't just sit out. Yeah. I feel like... It's like, like at the gym, as soon as I get like a little bit, oh, that's starting to hurt, like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> It's a pretty... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> two nights ago, I was at the gym. Too many people were there. Like, I was there for like 20 minutes. And I'm just like too packed. And I'm going, yeah, no, I'm going home. <laughs> See, that's why I, I just can't play like Sunday League or like sport mm. now. Because like, I just can't be bothered. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. it's fair enough. Um, so I did the yo-yo test. I remember I said I did the yo-yo test when we interviewed Ethan Brooks. Which is similar to the beep test, but... Very similar. You have like different. a walk in between. And I said that I got... I said I got 17, I believe. That's a lie. I got seventeen point two last night. Where's this coming from? Where, where, like, what kind of drugs are you taking to get? So I pre- in the beep test. It's a, and the bit no the yo yo. Yo yo. Oh, the yo yo is easier because you get yeah. There's a little bit more. No, it jumps, time. so it doesn't go like one, two, three. It goes like five, nine, thirteen, yeah. fourteen, fifteen, when, sixteen. Because when I was refereeing um, at a competitive level, mm. I, I was I did the uh, the yo yo test. The yo yo. And yeah, to get, get like sent over to like Coffs Harbour for like national championships, I was yeah. like pass it. What's the pass? I can't remember, but I failed at the first go. <laughs> like I think the next week I like nearly got it, and then like third week, like it was like the, it was like my three strikes, and I, like I couldn't go. To, really, like, national championships, and like third time I got it. Third time you got it. So I was pretty much like the top like 40 percent of players. Yeah. So, so people got like nineteen. Because like that. you're like a more like deep lying playmaker. Yeah. Are you just like, like are you thinking now you since finishing in the in the top in a quartile yes. of your team. Yes. Maybe it should be a box-to-box type. I am transitioning to a box-to-box in Philadelphia. Okay. Um, I am transitioning. So anyway, there we go. So the Mariners, De Silva's been benched for Ruiz Diaz. So talking about the Mariners, they beat victory 3-2. Ru- Ru- Ruiz Diaz has joined the A-League with a, a two-goal, a, gr- a great two goals. You know what I like about Ru- 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 oh, what's his name? Ruiz, Ruiz Diaz. Ruiz Diaz. Ru- Ruiz Diaz. Ruiz Diaz. Yeah. I, I, I got there. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have any t- tattoos yet. He does. I reckon he's gonna have a lot. He, no, he can't do what De Silva did. It was oh, like, he, like be good for like six games and get like two arm sleeves. Yeah, can't no, do it. You need to get into your tattoos like slowly, <laughs> like me. Like just get one or two. Yeah. Don't don't go all out yet. Go all out when you like get like go to Europe or whatever. Yeah. If as an A League player, like and you have two good games, don't go all out on the tattoos. I agree. I I mean at the moment. I'm not sure if De Silva is carrying some sort of injury, but he's pretty much he's uh, he's come on come off at half time. He's come on of like ten minutes to go. I believe Ruiz Diaz is a better player than De Silva already. 
On form, yeah, like already. I think Zui is out of form, and I do bash on him. Um, but yeah, Ruzier is very good. Jay Barnett, even though victory haven't been great in the hub, Jay Barnett has been pretty good. He looks like David Luiz. You know who's really who caught my eye from from the Central Coast? Who? Jordan Nisbet. Yeah, the he little... is not five ten. He is <laughs> five six. If that. He's like a um. He reminds me of that Brisbane Raw player, who was like the captain. Of... Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. Small one. The um small midfielder who was like the captain of the Ollie Roos. Um, You've lost me. He's very small. He's yep. very small. Enrique, no, no. Enrique is very small. Yeah, we'll just say Enrique. Funny fact about Enrique, he he had the lowest jumping rating on FIFA, like the whole database. Yeah, like jumping's overrated. It was like twelve. You, pl- you play the ball to feet. Um, uh, anyway, what other game was there? What else, there was, what else have I got to I'm say? I'm gonna take a stab and say Adelaide versus Western Sydney. Was, I, was that? I haven't game? written that down, Joe. That, that's because it probably wasn't a game. I just listed two teams. Oh, uh, did you see Laurie Latanzo for victory? What are all these two named players? He was I playing thought, up. I thought that was a meme. I thought that was like Laura, like they were taking the piss out of like Lawrence Thomas or something. Because <laughs> I saw it. That was, was like, an A League meme. I thought it was like a, like the L. Like yeah, you know. no, his name's Laurie Latanzo, Latanzio, and he was pretty okay. decent for the victory. Um, but the victory had been pretty disappointing. Um, oh, more than disappointing. Under Brebner. Yeah. To be fair, they played decent stuff in the Brisbane game. The victory should just fold. Um, you reckon? Yep. I don't think Lee Brock's and facts would agree with you. Let me let me get the book out, Joe. <laughs> All right, so Brisbane beat victory two one. I've got here Danny Danny Kim was G. He's got from the um, NBO, I believe. Yeah. Um, yep. Oh, Scott McDonald said Brisbane are the best in the league. Or he said like we're like up there. With the oh yeah, I'd league. say so. Yeah, yeah, easily. Them, Do you agree with them, this? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Or oh, like in the top five teams, that's already half the league. I feel like he. I, <laughs> I feel like he feels they're like top two. Well, good enough. I'd, oh, I'd nearly go that far. I'd nearly go that far. To be fair, like, yeah. I can watching City them just, have City played yet in the hub? City beat Sydney 2-0. They did, yeah. See, I, I've been watching too much AFL. Can we move to that game? Because what I've got to say about that is uh, Lockie Wells oh, has... Oh, I saw the goals. That was, yeah, good. Lockie Wells has blonde hair. Um, this begs the question... Wasn't he blonde before? No, he, oh, he's dyed it black bleach blonde. I'll write that. Okay. This begs the question, should I dye my hair bleach blonde? I can it suit you. I think it would have been. Like, oh, like grow your beard a bit more so it yeah. could be a, like the same colour. Yeah. Like bleach it or like, like just the top and like yeah. fade it into like the natural colour. Yeah. Because my, my um, hairdresser did mention to me, she said blonde tips. But then I was like, bleach it all. Bleach it all, Joe. Sandlab would say bleach tips. <laughs> Sandlab would. Friend of the show. Um, which other games were there? I'm going to list two other teams and pretend they verse each other. Let's say. No, so I've so in terms of my notes. Oh, yeah. We'll do um, notes first. So Brisbane beat uh, Victory Two Two One. Also, oh, Ryden Denton scored uh, for Brisbane. I quite I'm quite a fan of Ryden Denton. Was he at Wellington? Yeah. So he we we yeah. talked about him uh, signed for Brisbane, and he came on tonight against um, uh, who they versed tonight, Brisbane and Wellington. Um, and he's playing like attacking. He's playing like a winger. He used to be a defensive midfielder. I couldn't tell you what Red Enton... He's been in the league for like 10 years. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what position he is, or what he even looks like. I can tell you he's uh, a number six. He's, like, he's, one he's like a ponytail. He's like one of those Adelaide or Wellington players. Like Wellington. Just those teams. Like, he played for Wellington like and Jets. He's been in the A-League for years, but I couldn't tell you anything about him. He hasn't been in the A-League for that long. He's played for Wellington and Jets. Now he's playing for Brisbane. Funny enough, they played at um, the Jets Stadium. Yeah, it's in New South Wales. Oh, okay. Is that the hub? Did you, did, did you not know New <laughs> South Wales? Oh, the Jets were in New South Wales. Um, no, I'm not very good with geography. Now, Joe, where's the grand final going to happen? Have they decided this? No, I don't think so. Okay. Surely um, um, Perth. See, I don't even... I just... I don't care. Like, this, <laughs> like, the hub just seems like a pre-season tournament to me. And, like, I just want the next season to start so I can get back, back into it. Yeah. Because it, it seems like a Mickey Mouse tournament, this hub. It is a Mickey Mouse tournament, but I quite enjoy it. I quite like enjoy watching it. Winter wise, like for like the the playing in winter now, mm. the, the conditions are good. Like the games are so much better. They flow. Mm. No VAR. The games are fast. Mm. There's no hold ups. You're not waiting for anything. Mm. I love that. Mm. But I know just this hub thing. It doesn't seem like it's, it's not a serious competition to me. I don't know because yeah. like you have players not wanting to play yeah. and it's just a mess. And we're doing the best. It's the best with what it seems like. A, yeah, we're doing the best with what we've got. But yeah. it just seems like a preseason tournament. To yeah, me. it does. And like I hate thinking that way because yeah. I love the A-League yeah. but at the moment it just like I, it's this whole COVID and hub yeah, thing yeah, and yeah, yeah. just I want to be at the games that much that it feels like because I don't, I don't go to pre-season games so yeah. if I yeah, 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 go, okay. yeah no I do agree it's with you sad. Joe it's sad I feel that way Trent it is no and you've got a very valid point I think a lot of people feel that way I think um, someone in our Discord where is it who was it um, it was the bloke who the bloke loves right. to post his lunches he has me Craig Richo Craig yeah Richo and Gops. he was saying that like he just hasn't gone to A-League when the hub started and I completely understand um, I, I've found the game I think the quality of football has actually been surprisingly it's been a lot better yeah surprisingly good 
Um, but like the whole, yeah, the whole atmosphere, the whole vibe around it. Yeah, I agree. Sweet. Um, anything that's, else happened? That's pretty much been that. They're my notes on the games. Yeah, on all the games. Um, oh, Meredith thinks he's James Harden when he scored for us. <laughs> he, he dedicated that goal to a uh, big Greg Weithwick all the way in uh, Switzerland. He did. It was a banger, James Meredith. He, he did like. He definitely the, mishit that as well. Yeah, he definitely mishit it. He did a little James Harden celebration, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Is he, that what it looks like? He did like the, like the Sergio Gnabry. Yeah, that's like a James Harden thing. No, it's a Sergio Gnabry. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, but not, um, back to the Melbourne City Sydney game. Um, Mac's yes. goal. Saucy. Oh, it was saucy. Dink. Lovely. Oh, and Win Bichler is back for Western Sydney and uh, Melbourne City. And I only say that because I like his name. Big ups, Richard. Is Richard? Richard Win Bichler. Richard Win Bichler. We've said a lot of I don't of think it's Richard. I don't think it's Richard. I think it's R- Richard. So, um, oh, yeah, um, with that Gold Coast guy, it wasn't Corey Brown. Who was it? I don't know. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. I couldn't find it. <laughs> um, so, Sydney FC lose. So, okay, so let, let's say. Oh, God. Um, who are we talking to win that grand final at this point? Like, I, I don't say know. Brisbane, because, like. I think it's Brisbane or Wellington. Brisbane will bullshit a goal with Scott McDonald and just, like, not concede with their Brexit defence. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But Sydney, like, I don't know. Like, they're favourites, but I don't, I don't see them winning. Yeah. I don't Glo- see Glory Sydney will winning. crash out first week. Oh, Glory. So we either. Yeah, we either crash out first week or we go all the way. I feel like that's our. We either. Even, like, we, like I'll be happy if Glory won yeah. the grand final, but I'd still feel empty. I can still see K pop scoring in the final series. Oh, 100%. In the final series. And G pop. The K pop's made for the finals. G pop is not, but like even like if Glory win the grand final, like, oh, like it won't feel like we've won the grand final. It won't, uh, it won't be tangible. It will. Even if, if, if anyone else wins it, it won't feel like that. I feel like oh, it's, I don't care. But if Glory win it, I'll be quite like I won't be celebrating in Australia. Like, I, I, I'll still feel empty. So I was gonna wear my full Glory kit to the free, to the dock. Talking about what we are wearing, by the way, um, <laughs> sponsored by um, these shirts. I'm wearing a nice Japan 2006 shirt. Yes, I'm going all black for a PSG number. Is this Jordan sponsored? Oh, no, no. No, okay. I've, got, I've got the Jordan sponsor the one. Jordan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these are kindly supplied by our friends at Vintage Soccer Shirts Australia. Yep. And um, you can go on their website, vintagesoccershirtsau.com. Dot com. Possibly dot au. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah, so vi- vintagesoccershirts.com. No, vintagesoccershirtsau.com. Yep. yep. Um, and use promo code SOCKER, S-O-K-K-A-H, for 10% off at the checkout. At the checkout, love They have some saucy shirts. They do, they do. Um, Jacob Colangelo sent it a sick shirt. It was like, um, did you see it? It was like the, it was like a wave and had all these different colors. Did I? No, I was in the Discord. No, I've been, I've been busy. I've been flat out. The, 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 the Discord does, uh, like, I want to look at my phone after like a few hours. It, it really, it I've got to read off. it. I've got to read it. Um, um, Joe, how long have we gone for? For too long, probably. Yeah, 40, 43 minutes, too long. 43 minutes. Did we, we didn't get any Twitter questions this week, did we? we didn't no, ask. I, I've been, yeah, I haven't even checked the Twitter this week. I've been lazy. Yeah. Uh, is work busy at the moment, Joe? Yeah, it's busy. Uh, then yeah. yeah, uni started. I'm, this I'm week. trying to slowly like stop using Twitter as much. Okay. Like, even on my personal account. Okay. Because like I don't know, it just feels I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to get into more I don't know, read more books and all that. <laughs> and like I'm, I'm getting to my cooking a lot more. Joe, I walked in your house and I smelled something good. What was it? It's probably what Mum made earlier. What it's was a, it? It's something like a meat sauce. Oh, some cutlets. Yeah. Some oh, cutlets. cutlets. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You have a good nose. <laughs> um, on that note, support the Patreon. Yes, yeah, support the Patreon. Big ups. Guys, um, enjoy yourselves. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Yes. If you didn't like the video, um, what are you doing? Like the video, anyway. Big ups to our people in Melbourne listening. Uh, we, we might have an increased Melbourne listeners, do you reckon? Just, if you're in Melbourne, play this on loop. I think so. This has been a very... The, because of the audio, it's been a good episode. But what's about like the audio is like, shut the bed somehow. I'm just waiting for that to happen. <laughs> we got, I'm going to make lots of clips because I just want to flex on... Yeah. Oh, flex on Flex on Instagram how good our audio is. Yeah. We had like one guy comment like he wasn't a fan of us posting the clips on YouTube. He's got a valid point. To be fair, the Jacinda the Arden point. video has still good views. Yes. See, it's an interesting one because like if you go on my YouTube, this like subscription box, yeah. it's all like podcast clips from like Joe Rogan and like some other guy, guys' yeah. podcast. Like, so th- this guy's not a fan of it. So yeah, I, I, I think disagree. we do... See... If we had like a clips channel, yeah. but like are we big enough for a clips channel? Probably no. not. I think we upload just like one or two and then the ones that pick up traction, we keep public. That's mm. what I've done. I've made the others private because it just looks better when you look at our channel that the... Yeah. the it's the, a weird one. Only a few we clips. We need a media person. We do. We do need a, a media We need a media person. expert. Should we hire like an intern? We need a, we need a media expert. We, or an, we or can't, intern. We can't, we can't pay them. Okay, but unless interns... Want, unless we go into more debt. <laughs> I, we, we want an intern. What, what unis uh, do like if you the do, creative arts? If you do media... If you do media, I'm at any university. Send us your resume, yep. and a twenty in twenty five words or less, say, "Dear Joe and Trent, that's, 
that's like three words gone already. Yeah, yeah. Um, explain to us why you want to be our media intern. Yeah, and you twenty five words or less. And then, like, do we get them to edit the videos as well? Because I, I see the app <laughs> doing that. I, I think we give it to them. Yeah. Do you reckon anyone will send us in anything? I, yeah, we'll, we'll clip this. So yeah, um, you need to be at uni or have a degree or have a degree. Um, I don't. So what unis in Perth do like the uh, the arts? No, I don't like media or like journalism okay, or something. Media. Yeah, yeah, um, journalism. But yeah, yeah. We'll put that out into the universe and yeah. 25 words or less. Yeah, we'll uh, give you the keys to uh, the kingdom, essentially. Keys to the kingdom, yeah. Yep. You, you'll, you'll get the soccer pod email. We'll need to start changing all, all of our passwords then because currently they're all the same. <laughs> no, I, I think the worst was when I exposed someone's personal email address. One of the patrons' personal email yeah. address. Oh, Tudor, how are you? All right, anyway. On that note, Joe. Yeah, um, Tudor's busy with that bone and yeah. Farewell. Cheers, guys. Ciao. Very good.